Hello, welcome to another video in the SummerSlam Unlimited Marathon. This is the review of SummerSlam 2001. 2001 was a very weird year for the WWF. Um, they, by WCW, put on the best WrestleMania of all time. And everything kind of sputters out of control from there. You have the Invasion storyline and the Invasion pay-per-view right before SummerSlam, which does amazing business. The most bought non-WrestleMania pay-per-view ever. But by SummerSlam, you could kind of tell the Invasion wasn't what it was supposed to be. But SummerSlam still managed to be a pretty darn good show. Um, and it started out with Edge defending the Intercontinental title against Lance Storm. Good match. Um, Edge wins, though there was botched interference by Christian, which almost cost Edge the title, which... Is a good segue into the feud that they eventually ended up having. Uh, then you have Tess and the Dudleys versus Spike Dudley and the APA. And the whole thing with that match was Shane McMahon's looming interference, which ended up, I believe, costing Spike and the APA the match. Uh, then we had singles match for the cruiserweight and light heavyweight title, uh, X-Pac versus Tajiri with X-Pac picking up the win and it was the last time the light heavyweight title would be defended on pay-per-view. Weird title, the light heavyweight title. Uh, then you had Chris Jericho versus Rhino. Uh, pretty good match. Uh, one of the coolest spots that I've seen on a SummerSlam. Jericho was going for a cross body off the top rope to the outside. And then Rhino hit a gore midair. And it, it, it's one of the most insane spots I've ever seen. I'm surprised Jer it, like, it didn't kill Chris Jericho. Because his head came down really hard. Um, but Jericho ended up getting the win. Um, Rob Van Dam versus Jeff Hardy for the hardcore title in a ladder match. Great match. I mean, the hard, hardcore title, RVD, Jeff Hardy, ladder match. You're not going to have a bad match there. And these two flew around the ring using weapons. It was all great. And uh, RVD got the win. He was like the only Alliance member that wasn't an already established WWF guy that was made to look strong. Then we have the Brothers of Destruction versus DDP and Canyon in a cage match for the WCW and WWF tag titles. And Undertaker and Kane pretty much squashed them. And... The continued destruction of established WP, WCW guys. And I, you take DDP, one of the most over guys in WCW history. And you just bury him and have him get squashed and demolished and destroyed. Have him be this stupid stalker in this stupid stalking angle. And nothing comes out of it. Nothing. Just an example of how they had no idea how to use any of the guys from WCW. I mean, Canyon had no business being squashed like this either. Canyon's one of the most unique guys in the ring that you'll ever see. He came up with so much cool stuff. But you wouldn't know that from how WWF presented him. 
Then you had Kurt Angle versus Steve Austin for the WWF Championship. My God, this match. In-ring, perfection. Storytelling, perfection. Angle taking stunner after stunner after stunner and still getting up. Angle bloodied and battered. And Austin desperate to keep the title he holds so dearly that is his existence by any means necessary. Knocking out referees, trying to get disqualified. And just when it looks like Angle has Austin beat, an alliance referee calls for the disqualification. And Austin, by the skin of his teeth, keeps the title. What a story. What a match. What a set of competitors. Just an A-plus match. The most underrated SummerSlam match of all time. And then you have The Rock versus Booker T for the WCW title. Good match. Um, not great, but good. Uh, anytime you get two people with their levels of charisma, the fans are going to be into it. Uh, especially this this period in time with The Rock. You couldn't do wrong with him. Um, ec- excellent match. Uh, Rock went over. And The Rock ended SummerSlam as WCW World Heavyweight Champion. It was weird. The, the invasion was weird. 2001 was weird. Um, but that is SummerSlam 2001 in a nutshell. Good show. Had some flaws. But overall, fairly decent. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at Unlimited1. Like the Unlimited Facebook page. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.